My name is Pranay Sai and our topic for now is a direction sense test. Direction sense test involves two major parameters. One is distance, another is direction. You are provided with a sequence of directions and distances and you need to figure out the final direction and distance based on the given data. How is direction sense test useful? It helps you to trace and follow directions and sense them accurately. This is the direction map which you need to remember in order to solve any of these questions. Whenever you solve a question, imagine that you are towards the north direction. Got it? So in this question, Amit is towards north direction. So is in this point. So the first statement states that Amit walked 30 meters towards east. So this is the east direction and he has walked 30 meters. Then he took a right turn. So right turn from here is this direction. So he has walked 40 meters towards right. And then he took a left turn and walked 30 meters again. If he's coming in this direction, his left will be here. So he has walked 30 meters again. In which direction is he from the starting point? This is the question. This is Amit's starting point. This is where he's at present. So the direction is in this way. Let's look at the map now. This direction indicates southeast. So, Amit is towards the southeast direction from the starting point. This is the answer. Now, the second question. A man is facing towards west and turns 45 degrees clockwise. And again, 180 degrees clockwise and then turns 270 degrees anti-clockwise. In which direction is he facing now? These are the set of options. West, northwest, south southwest. Let's draw the basic drawing map. Now the first statement states that the man is facing towards west. So he's in this direction and he turns 45 degrees clockwise. So the man has turned 45 degrees clockwise from west. Now after that he has turned 180 degrees clockwise again. So 180 degrees starting from here will be like this because 45 here, 90 here and 45 here again, total equal to 180 degrees. And after that, he has turned 270 degrees anti-clockwise. He has turned 270 degrees anti-clockwise again. Anti-clockwise direction is in this way and this angle is 270 degrees. Now what he is asking? In which direction is he facing now? After turning 270 degrees, he is facing this direction. From the direction map, let's find out in which direction is he facing now. Here is the map. The man is facing in this direction after turning 270 degrees anticlockwise. So it is southwest. Therefore, the answer is southwest. Here is another question. X and Y started moving towards each other from two places. 200 meters apart. After walking 60 meters, Y turns left and goes 20 meters. Then he turns right and goes 40 meters. He then turns right again and comes back to the road on which he had started walking. If X and Y walk with the same speed, what is the distance between them now? And these are the options 20, 30, 40 and 50. X and Y are moving towards each other from two different places, which is 200 meters apart. After walking 60 meters, Y turns left and goes 20 meters. So he's in this direction at first, he goes 60 meters and then goes left and goes 20 meters in this direction. And after that, he turns right and goes 40 meters. So he's in this direction and he goes 40 meters. And after that, he turns right again and comes back to the road on which he had started walking. This is the road and he comes back to the road again. So if this is 20, even this will be 20 meters. And in the next statement, it is given as X and Y walk with the same speed. How much distance did Y cover? Here it is 60, so 60 plus 20 here, so 20 plus 40 here, plus 40 plus 20 here, plus 20. So the total is equal to 
140 meters. If x travels 140 meters from this point, let's say this is p, this is a, this is b, this is c, this is d, and this is q. y had traveled 140 meters. If x travels the same from p, that is the starting point, he would reach up to the point a because from the starting point to the middle of the road, it is 100 meters. And adding 40 after that, x will be reaching up to point A. Now, up to this part of the question, y is at point D and x is at point A if they travel with the same speed. Got it? Now, let's look for the question. What is the distance between them now? As x is at A and y is at D, the distance between them is AD, which is equal to 40 meters as given here. So the answer is 40 meters. These questions need a lot of practice. Make sure you do it. All the very best.